what is up guys Phoenix here and today we're going to be building an upside down spider-man pixel art so it goes well hanging upside down so I have a little wall built right there so it can hang from it but let's get started by talking about the color palette which will be black red blue and light blue so to start this pixel art we're going to Actually, I'm going to build the wall last, because then we all it is. So, okay. and what you want to do is start up in the air. So we're going to start up in the air with five flat black wool, but not any. All right, five flat black wool. One, two, oops. And then from there, we're going to build the rest of the frame. So keep your black wool out. And we're going to come to the left side like we usually do. Left one. And then we're going to come up into the left five vertical. Actually, six vertical. And from there, I'll show you what we're going to do after that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And do the same thing to the opposite side real quick. So up to the right, and then six vertical. Now on the second block, we're going to come over one, two, then on the, what's it called, we're going to skip this space, skip this space, skip this space. Fifth block, on the fifth block, we're going to come over one. So second block, we come over two, fifth block, we come over one. Then we're going to come up into the right here one and up into the left here now let's finish the rest of the frame this is just details for the inside of his mask so from right here we're gonna come up into the right one then from this block we're gonna come up one and we'll place one to the right and And that goes for the opposite side too. So we're gonna come from here, up to the left one, then one from here, one to the left, three to the right. And now connect these two with this little gap right here by coming up and to the right. So up like that. And now let's go back to the left side. So from right here, we're going to come up into the left one. Then we're going to come up into the left five vertical. Four or five. Then we're going to come up into the right three. Then from there, we're going to start building in two different directions. So. For the left side, we're going to come over two to the left, and for the right side, we're going to put one. So left side had two to the left, right side had two vertical like that. And now I'm going to go through the left side and loop it back around until it touches where we just put those two right there on the right side. So for the left side, we're going to come up into the left two flat, then up into the left four vertical. Then up into the right two flat. Then up into the right three flat. Then down into the right three flat. And from this final block, we're going to come down to. Then we're going to come down into the left, the backwards R, and it should connect. If you have this, if you zoom out, it's pretty easy to see the blocks right there. And now finally, we're going to come up into the left from here, one. Now I would say just copy that over to the right side if you can, but I'll go over it later, so don't worry about it. Now next, we're going to come to these three right here, and on the middle block, we're going to come up three. One, two, three. 
then we're going to come up into the right three flat, then down into the right three, and after this final block, just bring it over until you touch this at a diagonal. Next, from here, we're going to come down into the right four, down into the right four vertical, one, two, four. Then we're going to come down into the left, one. Actually, this is intruding on the right side of it, but I'll still do it anyways, because whatever you do over here, it's supposed to do over there. So you're supposed to come down into the right one here as well, so I'll just do this part together. Then from here, we're going to come down into the left, three vertical. Come to the right and do that, the same thing. Except it's not down to the left, it's down to the right. And then from here now, where we have these three, we're going to, to the left of the final block and put two like that. And then on the right of it, we're going to put one. Then to finish it off, we're going to come down into the left, two vertical, and make sure to do that to the opposite side. So we're going to come over here, and to the left, we're going to put one, and then on the right side, we're going to put two. Then from here, we're going to come down into the right, two. Let me zoom out so you guys can see how it looks so far. Alright, so it looks good. Now, for the spider on his chest, we're going to put three reds like this. And then switch back to your black so we can put the spider. So for the spider, we're going to put one right here, one right there. Then we're going to come down into the middle, one. And then we're going to put another two like we have these, except down from here. And now to finish it up, what we just need to do is mimic this side onto that side. So I'll go over it again. So we're going to come up into the right from here, one. Then up into the right five vertical, one. Then up into the left three vertical. Then from this final block, we're going to put one, two on the left. And on the right, we're going to have two flats, so one. Next, we're going to loop this around until it meets back up with here. So coming from here, we're going to come up into the right two flat. Then up into the right four vertical. Four. Then up into the left two. Flat. Up into the left three flat. Then down into the left three flat. And then from this final block, we're going to bring it down to, then we're going to come down into the right, a forward R, since this is the right side. Now we're going to put that little indentation we have after the R on this side as well, so we're going to come up into the right from it. Just zoom out again, we're almost done. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come to this corner right here and we're going to connect it to this corner at diagonals. So just fill in the diagonal like that with three blocks and it should touch. Now let's finish up the final leg. So coming to this final piece right here, we're going to come up to and up into the right three. Then down into the right until it connects. Down to the right and bring it down. And that should be it.
now we're going to fill in the detail and also I forgot let's put in some white wool so for the white wool we'll put this right here and bring it up and here's where the wall can come in and you connect it to a wall or to the roof of your big house or something so he's hanging from the wall So let's finish up the pixel art now. So we're going to start from the bottom and now switch to your white wool. And where we have this little indentation right here, we're going to fill in this with two, next row with three, the next row with two. Let's do that right here two, three, two. Then the rest of the mask we're going to put in with red. So this is where the red, blue, and light blue is going to come in for the suit. So now, what we're going to do is switch to our blue wool and marker out where we're supposed to leave blue. So we're going to come up to where we had this three red, and come up into the left from here in this corner. We'll put one blue. Then we're going to come down to the left here, put two blue. We're just outlining this. Then coming right down here, put two blue again. So it should look like. Then we're gonna connect them like this. So we're just tracing it completely. So just trace everything with blue. Then once you trace this corner, we're gonna come up an extra one, and then one over like this. Keep tracing. And we're going to stop right here. Let me just follow it with my eyes real quick so that way you guys can see it. So we put one right there. And we came down to left three. Then on that final one, we came over two. Then we came back to the left and brought it up. Then we came to the right, brought it up. Then we came to the right and brought up two. So let's do that to the opposite side. And if you weren't able to follow that, I'm sorry, but you can pause the video and I'm pretty sure if you just look close enough, you can see. All right, now let's do the rest of the blue before we start filling in red since it's really easy. So switch to your light blue and on these little corners right here on both sides, we're gonna come to this part, this middle part and to the right, we're gonna put one, So we put one in the corner, and then we created this backwards L shape. Let's do that to the opposite side. One in the corner, and then this is a forward L shape now. And we don't have that final block filled in. And these are his knees, so the rest of it is going to be blue. But just those little tips right there are light blue. So fill in everything else dark blue. On both sides. I think everything else will be red. Let me see. Yeah, everything else now is going to be red. So switch to your red wool and fill away. And yeah, so I usually would time lapse this part, but I'm going to talk a little bit while I fill and hopefully talking by the time I'm done filling. So I know a lot of people wanted the Gravity Falls pixel art. Um, at the time that I'm filming this, you can look behind me and see that I'm currently counting which blocks I placed where because I made some modifications to the Gravity Falls template that I have to make the one I have right there. So it's not the same. So I have to see where I made the modifications and stuff to see um, <clears throat> how I can do the tutorial. So I will do the tutorial in two parts. And um. First part should just be frame if I have if I can do it in a, a decent amount of time, and the second part should just be coloring. And I'm pretty sure everybody would like that because a lot of people requested the tutorial. All right, and we should be done now. 
So let me zoom out now and we'll see how it looks. So it came out pretty nice. So there is our Spider-Man upside down hanging pixel art guys. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed or um, just had fun watching. And thanks for hanging around and just listening to my voice as I did this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be having some more bigger pixel arts coming out like this one. And I'm going to be doing the tutorials in more of a Felix Beaumont style. So I'm going to give him a shout out right there. I'm going to tag him in the bottom because I'm kind of, kind of am stealing his style. Um, I like the way he does his style. He kind of does a showcase and then he does pixel art tutorial. I mean, then he does the tutorials days after. I think it's really organized and I'm going to see if I can do something like for the bigger pixel arts. But for little pixel arts like these, you can just do them daily. And yeah, they're really short tutorials. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to subscribe for more content. This is Phoenix Death One and I'm out. Whoop!